UFC 219, ex-UFC bantamweight champion Dominic Cruz, who's still ranked at number one, faces Jimmy Rivera, the number three ranked guy. And Dominic Cruz was on a tremendous winning streak, dating back years. His last loss was in 2007, where he was defeated by Uriah Faber back in the WEC. And he went on a monumental winning streak and became the guy that we all knew as the greatest bantamweight of all time. He defeated Uriah Faber at UFC 132. And he defeated Demetrius Johnson at UFC Live number six. And after that, back, that was October 1st, 2011. After that, he went on an injury and he was gone. We hadn't seen him. He came back in 2014 and we were wondering if he would ever come back. He came back at UFC 178 where he ran through Mizugaki and then he got a title shot but there was another injury and it took two years for that to happen. It didn't happen until 2016 where he faced TJ Dillashaw and he won a split decision got the title, defeated Faber again at UFC 199, and then he faced Cody Garbrandt, who defeated him, and, and he lost his title at UFC 207. He fought a tough five-round fight, and Cody was mocking him. Cody won most of the rounds, and he, he won the fight. Dominic Cruz is returning. It's been about a year, and he's facing a really tough test. This guy, Jimmy Rivera, is severely underrated. He's won five in a row in UFC, and he's won 20 fights overall. Now, that is absolutely insane. His only loss was back in 2008. It was his second fight, and he's proved that it was a fluke. He's done so many things since then. This guy is phenomenal, and the guy he lost to was Jason McLean. The guy's got a record of six and seven, and he lost a split decision. You can go watch that fight. Maybe, you know, maybe one of the judges made a mistake in that fight. But he came into UFC and he ran through Marcus Brimage, and he knocked him out in the first round. And he had two fights after that. He beat Yuri Alicantra, and then he stepped up and got a really big name fight at UFC 203, where he beat Uriah Faber. And since then, at UFC on Fox 25, he beat Thomas Almeida, who's also a highly ranked bantamweight. So he's getting his toughest test against Dominic Cruz. The Dominator, a lot of people thought of, of him as the GOAT going into the Cody Garbrandt fight. After all, he's one of the only guys to do what he did to DJ. He beat DJ, right? So, and he's beaten everybody else. So Dominic Cruz is 32 years old. He's five foot eight, and he's facing a really short guy at Bantamweight. Jimmy Rivera is only five foot four, so he, he's much, much smaller. And Dominic Cruz has a 68 inch reach. Jimmy Rivera has a 65 inch reach. Jimmy Rivera is, is tough and he can hang in there with anyone. We're going to see him go into what might be a five round fight. I want to ask you guys, is this going to be the main event at UFC 219? It's real early. I don't even know yet. It might be a three round fight or a five round fight. And that's going to make a big difference going into this fight. Dominic Cruz has been injured so many times and he just hasn't fought as much as Jimmy Rivera. Jimmy Rivera has been so durable and he's been able to go out there and do what he does. Now, is he going to be able to go out there and fight a guy like Dominic Cruz, a guy with that much speed, a guy who's able to get out of shots so easily and bend his legs any way he wants to? Will Jimmy Rivera, the New Jersey native, be able to go in there and take down Dominic Cruz? Or will he be able to catch him? I'm going to go with Jimmy Rivera. I think he's going to win this fight. He's going to take it to Dominic Cruz.